Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are going to be taking a look at another interesting mod in our testing save here. And the mod in question today is the Versatile Toolbox System, made by a user Nazari1382. Let me just double check that I got that name correctly here. My handwriting is atrocious, but yes, Naziri1382. And this mod requires the Kerbal Attachment System to work. But yes, the Versatile Toolbox System is quite an interesting beast. Now, if we just head in to the space plane hangar here, we won't actually be building a plane, but we will be looking at the utility panel over here where we have the four pieces that make up this mod. And you may be asking, wow, just four pieces? Well, these four pieces, they, uh, oh boy, do they do a lot. Now to start, we have the expedition rack right here, which basically is a large rack, as you can tell, where you can place all sorts of stuff on here. Each of these panels is a connection hard point so you can just slap stuff right onto there it's quite simple and easy oh, let go of that now we also have a similarly to the expedition rack we have the logistics rack which is much smaller and only has four places to actually place any rack equipment now you may be asking what to attach to these racks well you can really attach anything you want onto it but uh, for this specific mod, we have the Versatile Toolbox System Standard Container, which is very cool. You attach them onto any of these racks just like so, and you have a toolbox, which we will get to what it can do in a moment. Now, also, a part of this mod is a cool little MMU Personnel Vehicle, which is a small little RCS-powered jetpack. It uh, is completely useless in atmosphere, but in space, it's actually quite cool and quite fun to fly around with this thing, especially around a space station and other things of that sort. Uh, but the coolest part about this mod, honestly, I mean, there are many, many jetpacks you can get. I mean, I've got... Uh, one, two, three, four, five right here that <laughs> are just easy to play with. Uh, so this... The MMU, though cool, isn't the coolest thing about this mod. What is the coolest part is these toolboxes themselves. Now, you can right-click these and edit container, and you have a full list of parts that are available to you over here in these panels, including some pods, well, which really just the jetpack and an external command seat. You can't shove a uh, Mark I capsule in here or anything. But you can actually store stuff in these containers and each piece of equipment has a size and wet mass associated with it and so you can only store so much each container can only hold 50 and say if we fill this baby with science uh, one piece of every bit of science equipment brings it to 42 or 43 rather Wow I can read and yeah you can just pop these things full of stuff which is is the really fun part about this. Now, what I'm gonna do here is actually just load, oh my god, I actually just saved that horrible contraption I just built with, uh, we'll open up this other horrible contraption I built earlier, which is just a simple little uh, Mark I command pod with uh, some landing legs to stabilize this whole beast and a couple of toolboxes already mounted. So if we go to launch this, so I can show you why this mod is so amazing. Now, you may just be asking to yourself right now, well, what's so much fun about just being able to store crap in toolboxes? Well, <laughs> you can get it out of the toolbox. So, if we go on to EVA and uh, just let go, oh, no, I got back in, sorry. <laughs> Let's, there we go. And he's dropped down to the ground. Now, first thing, we're actually gonna mess around with these MMU jetpacks here. Now, you can just board it, as always, and you have yourselves a little jetpack. Like I said, it is RCS only, so if we move these around, you can see uh, the RCS uh, monopropellant being used. 
So it's not gonna do a thing out here, but in space, they are quite fun. It's essentially just an extended jetpack. I mean, each one of these has 85 mono propellant, which is quite a bit. Now, if we just, there we go, leave the seat and fall to the ground. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, I've tipped this thing. Huh, did not mean to do that. But uh, yeah, you uh, can also grab the MMU. And oh, <laughs> it fixed the balancing issue. Now the thing is strapped to my back and I can carry it around with me. Now, on the ground, this is not entirely useful because we could drop it and try to get back in, but it'll, it'll just be obstructed. You can't actually get back into this. But if you grab it and then uh, release it in space while you're just floating around, you can then jump in the thing and fly around quite easily. But what's cool about this is now that we have this jetpack on our back, we can actually attach it. And now you'll see, whoop, now you'll see that we have the ability to actually rivet this thing on somewhere on the ship itself. Now it is a little screwy, like I can't actually put it back where it was doing this, but if I wanted, I could weld it to the side of the craft here, uh, which, why don't we do that? There we go. Now you get a little riveting sound there of some tools working and uh, you have it. And you can, of course, grab it and pick it back up. And if you do want to place it back where it was, instead of actually using the attach function here, you can just right click on, uh... oh, this was working earlier. Hold on a moment. Let's see, I may be having uh, some issues with this. Now you're supposed to be able to right click this bit and reattach it to one of these plates that's already here, but I seem to be having some issues with that at the moment. This worked out in testing earlier. Oh my, let's see here. Let's just, oh, what the heck, let's just attach the thing right there. Excellent, it works. Uh, but yes, it, that's kind of odd. You are supposed to be able to right click, and as I said, it was working earlier, just not now for some reason. But while we are on foot, we can go and uh, open up one of these containers, grab a Communitron out of this baby, and uh, close. And now we have a Communitron on our back. And if we can actually get out from where we're walking here. Oh, controlling Kerbals. Oh my god, that thing looks hilarious on our back. Oh, we can... Oh my god, I actually didn't try this with a Communitron earlier. Can we actually open... We can... We have a Kerbal with a Communitron now. <laughs> I didn't try that earlier, that's amusing. But we can, as you notice here, attach this baby now. So we have a fully functional way of building stuff in space. Now the, uh, like I said, it is a little screwy with where you can actually put things at the moment. So, and if you can't place it somewhere, you get that little beep. There we go. And if you readjust the camera, it does reset itself. But let's see if we can attach this back here, perhaps. Hmm. Yeah, I think partly because this thing is gigantic and partly uh, because it is at the moment a little screwy to attach things, that may not work. So let's go back to this, open the container and we can store what we have on our back by just putting it back there. And if we grab something smaller, like a thermometer, there we go. Now we just have a tiny little thermometer on our back. Now hopefully we should be able to attach this thing. Oh yeah, there we go, attached. <laughs> Excellent, it worked very, very well. And the fun part is you can open up any of these containers. Like I've grabbed a jetpack here, which we now have on our back. Which, ooh, I didn't try this earlier either. I wonder if I can control this from here. Huh. Well, that may be possible, but I'm not entirely sure how that works, but we can grab pretty much anything out of these containers and attach them to the ship in various parts. And it opens up a lot of fun possibilities. We've got a command seat on our back now, lovely. It opens up a lot of fun possibilities, like say you're on a mission to Duna and you crash land. 
and you lose one of your landing legs and an engine. You can just pick them up from one of the containers if you brought yourself some extras. So we grab this thruster block. If you brought extras, you can just pop them on, attach, bam. It's, it's on your ship now. <laughs> Now, uh, I'm not entirely sure about if there is full functionality of them, so let's try to... Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to get on there. Oh, there we go. A little jump and a board. Yep, yeah, there we go. That RCS is firing in the back there. Oh, so is that uh, jetpack. So if, yeah, if you crash land on a planet and lose, say, a lander leg, an engine, an RCS port, whatever it may be, if you have extras stored inside of a toolbox, you can attach it to your ship and go on your merry way. Now, as I said, this whole thing is still a little bit screwy with the placement. It, it, it definitely is a bit finicky. Uh, but it's it's wonderful. Now, I actually want to try grabbing this MMU again. So I would like to be able... Ah, there we go. Now that I... Oh, no, wait. No, that's the command seat that I'm clicking. There we are. Yeah, it was just glitching out a bit. But now that I can right-click this and I can store that MMU in one of the open positions. So it went right into the one where it just was already. But it's a handy little feature, so for these toolboxes and such, you can just clamp right on. Now, let's grab this entire toolbox. Oh, the thermometer fell that we had. Oh, no, but this toolbox is full of a whole lot of stuff. And we can't, uh, we can't actually look at everything that's in the toolbox when it's on your back. But we can't open it, though. <laughs> oh, wonderful. I, I do love the little animations like that. But you can grab your toolbox and say you have your rescue ship. You can take this over to your crash ship. And I'm actually wondering if we drop this, can we then open the container? Let's wait for it to settle. Oh, we can't. Oh, darn. I was wanting to test that. But oh well, c'est la vie. As long as you can attach it to another vessel, then you can then go and open up the container. Ooh. Oh, did it lose all of its inventory? That is interesting. That may be a bug at the moment because there was some stuff in... Oh, wait, no. No, there wasn't. Oh, I am a fool. And that thermometer is slowly walking away. I am a fool. That only had that command seat and the jetpack in it. Let's grab this backpack, or toolbox rather. Ah, yes, there we go. We can access this container. And let's see, test if we can drop this on the ground. There we go, we can, and that is very cool. So say you have a rescue ship come up to uh, the moon or Duna, and you bring along some spare parts for the ship you're trying to rescue. There you are, you can just walk over with the toolbox, plop it down on the ground, grab the stuff you need, and uh, yeah, go and have fun. Oh, this isn't working again of me being able to right click to store this which is interesting. So that is a glitch. I wonder if it's because it's slightly bouncing. That could be a possibility, but of course we can always just attach it. <laughs> there we go. I, I really love this mod. It adds a whole load of possibilities. That poor thermometer, unfortunately I can't pick it up anymore. It is now debris since it fell off of the toolbox. Uh, but yeah, it opens up so many possibilities of potentially building ships in space, repairing ships that you have lost on other planets, or just, you know, random crap. You could take up a whole ship that's full of containers that are just chock full of jetpacks and deliver them to the moon, and now everyone on the moon has a jetpack. It's just, it's wonderful fun. And I would definitely say to go and check this mod out, uh, which, of course, links are in the description if you would like to go and download it for yourself. And once again, this is the versatile toolbox system made by Nazari1382 and uh, does, once again, require the Kerbal attachment system to function correctly. But it's just awesome. Go and give this a download. It is so cool. I, I, I just love the ability of being able to pick stuff up out of a toolbox and weld it onto your ship somewhere. <laughs> Though I also 
do find it amusing that uh, we apparently can open up these things on our backs. That's... <laughs> that's glorious. Can we transmit? My god, it's transmitting. But of... Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, it did transmit. I don't know what it transmitted, but... um. Well, let's weld it onto the ship somewhere, and... Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's... It's on the side of this thing now. My word, the monstrosities you could build just welding random crap to things. Uh, but yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this mod spotlight. And of course, that you do go and check this out for yourself. And come back next week when I'll take a look at another fun mod. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.